total number of votes polled for each candidate at the election was as follows. John Alexander Black, Scottish Jacobite Party, 156. George Doyle, Independent, 272. David Graham, Scottish Labour Party, 10,274. Mike McKenzie, Scottish National Party, 8,563. Elaine Morrison, Scottish Green Party, 789. Gary Mulvaney, Scottish Conservative and Unionist, 10,861. Alan Reid, Scottish Liberal Democrat, 14,000. Ballot papers rejected, 8 to 6. Total votes, 45,293. And I declare that Alan Reid is elected to serve in the United Kingdom Parliament as a member for our Gallery constituency. So, congratulations. Thank you. Still Argyland Butte? Yes, yeah, still the MP for Argyland Butte. I'm delighted and want to thank everybody who supported me. But one of the things that has, I suppose, brought that about and one of the, is one of the things that you emphasise all the time, and that is that you put Argyland Butte first. Yes. At all times. Now, here you are, you're walking into, a, we're all walking into a political landscape, we don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> Although I did pick up, you're going to a meeting in London at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, midday tomorrow, there's a meeting of all Liberal Democrat MPs in London to discuss our approach to negotiations with other parties. How long do you think it will take? How long, what's your personal bet in terms of when we will actually see what's immediately in front of us, what the shape of government will be? Well, the ball is clearly in Gordon Brown's court at the moment. The Constitution gives him, as the sitting Prime Minister, the, the first move, so to speak. So the first move is really up to, to Gordon Brown. Theoretically, he could sit in 10 Downing Street until the vote on the Queen's speech, which wouldn't be until early June. So it, it's really, the ball's really in Gordon Brown's court. If he makes an approach to us, then obviously we'll listen to what he's got to say. Is, is uh, electoral reform a deal breaker? As far as, I, as far as I'm personally are, I'm concerned, uh, yes, any deal that doesn't include electoral reform is, is in my personal opinion, a, a deal breaker. Because, because I think for the first time in my political life, I've actually found on the, the doorstep a groundswell of public opinion for electoral reform. Because often it's very often, a, shall we say, an anorak issue, and the, the, gener the general public will often say that yes, we'd like electoral reform, but it's not often not the issue that they are raising. But I find for the, in this campaign, on many doorsteps, the general public were raising electoral reform because they're fed up with the two-party system and the in most parts of the country that people feel in a straitjacket they have to vote for one of the two main parties so th there is a general groundswell of public opinion and I would hope that that would be reflected by the other two parties but we, we have to see.